hate you! I'll teach you! Hey, you there, boy! Easy, boy, easy, easy. Nobody's gonna hurt you. You boy, easy. Lord Almighty, what's been done to you, boy? No, Mr. Blake. No. Leave the sinner be. Don't hurt him. No. You did this to the boy? He is indenture to me. I may do with him as I please. Get away from him! No man does what you did to a boy, no matter what reason. No man. All right, you. You tell me why you do that to a boy. Why would you beat a boy like that? He who gives service to the sinner is as the sinner and must suffer penance. On a day of fast, which I proclaimed, you took bread from the larder I repent. and relished it. I repent, Master, as he must repent for sharing my sin. Last book. Learn him well. Look at this mess. Sweeping and cleaning and cleaning and sweeping. I declare, one of these days, I'm going to get myself a handyman around here. Well, why pay out wages for something you can do for yourself? Besides, square dancing that broom is good exercise. Well, if you don't mind, Daniel Boone, I just as soon get my exercise square dancing with a woman. Heaven's knees. Pa, there's a man coming through the gate. He looks like he hurt himself pretty bad. I think he better come. Take it easy. What are you saying, boy? What's this all about? I'll get a towel. It was Mr. Blake. He was my friend. When we were traveling together, and we camped about 10 miles up the road. I went to fetch some water, and then it happened. What happened? What? How'd you get beat up like that? I, I don't know. I was... I was hit from behind, and, and when I came to, he was, he was dead. I, the whole camp was just torn apart, and, oh God, it was terrible. I don't know. I just, uh, who are you? Who is this Blake, that this friend of yours? Hemet, Hemet Morgan, that's, that's my name. And Mr. Blake, he was, he was just, just a friend of mine. He was coming to see his brother. But his name would have been Cyrus? That's Cyrus. Cyrus Blake, that was his name. Get in, Blake. I'm already here. Now, what's all this about? Your brother's been killed, Enoch. The boy just brought the word. Cyrus dead. You tell me, boy, how did my brother die? 
did the killing? I don't know. I don't know. But I found this. I found this sticking in his back. That's my paws. I I know it anywhere. One of my chores when he's home. I keep it clean and sharp for him. I. Shh. It's Gideon's, all right. I ought to know why I gave it to him. Well, it don't make no sense. How would Gideon's knife get? How oh, unless he put it there himself? This killed my brother. He was stabbed from behind. And we all know who did the stabbing. No, my pa didn't do nothing. He couldn't have. That's right. Gideon wouldn't do anything like that. He just wouldn't kill somebody. That man must be wrong. You said yourself you gave it to the black man. Well, that doesn't mean that he did the killing. He could have lost that knife. That's right. Now, just don't go off half-cocked till we know all the facts. Now, calm down, folks. The only way we're going to know is to go out and take a look, and that way we'll know the truth. Very well. I'll wait for the facts. But when we find the murderer, I'm going to take my vengeance on him. Let's get the boy inside. Come on. You're sure going to need Edward, go tell your mother she's needed. Yes, sir. Now, the rest of you men that want to go, meet me here in 15 minutes. I'll go with you, Mr. Boone. I, I, I know right where it is. Oh, you stay here. What you need right now is food and rest. I'll take you. Lord Almighty. It looks like a madman must have done this, Daniel. Backstab, just like the boy said. Cyrus Blake, his Bible with his name in it. I give my life to save the simple. Amen. And so he did. May he rest in peace. Well, Boone, what do you got to say now? I say we don't know any more than we did. Here, what's this? Going to something? Well, what is it? About a year ago, Gideon wrestled down a grizzly with not much more than his knife. He made himself a necklace out of its teeth. Well, that's proof enough for me. Now, which of you is going to join me while I hunt the killer down? Hey! Hey! Now, wait just a minute. What more do you want? The knife? The necklace? Both belonging to the black man? Hey! 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 I won't believe it. My pa couldn't. He wouldn't. Didn't you hear what the boy said? Why would he lie? Look at him. Beaten half to death. Are you deaf? Didn't you hear him? Enoch, if you say one more word, so help me. Dan. Are you sure you're not mistaken? about this knife and this necklace. No, sir. No, sir. Those, those teeth, I'd never seen nothing like them before. They were around his neck when he was beating on me, when the black man was beating on me. Boone, I've waited long enough. There's only one black man in these parts. And his name's Gideon. That's right. Everybody knows Gideon. That's big man of Gideon over there. You gotta admit it looks bad, Daniel. They're still jumping to conclusions. You're lying. My pa is a good man. He didn't hurt you. He didn't hurt nobody, and he didn't kill nobody. I love my pa. You hear? I love my pa, and I don't believe you. I don't believe none of you. I don't. I don't.
What about them in there? They're entitled to their say. They can think what they want. They think my pa's a killer. We'll let him. We know, dear friend. Don't we? Well, don't we? Yes, we do. We all do. Now, let's do what your father said. Go on home. Don't be long, Dan. I will. Little Donald? Things are going to work out. You just keep on believing it. Sit right there, son. I'll get you some bittles. Thank you. I know it was my kin that was murdered, not yours. But my point is that if he kills once, he's apt to kill again. So I say, for all our sakes, I say we stop him now. Yeah. Yeah. Does anyone disagree with that? Well, I sure don't, if he did it. He's got to be punished. That's right. Mm -hmm. Do you argue with that? Yes, I'll argue that. Until he's proven guilty, he's as innocent as any of us. That boy, Hemet, pointed the finger at guilt. And the black man's knife and his necklace. They're facts you can't deny. Sure. That's right. Nobody's right. 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 denying anything. Don't you think we ought to hear Gideon's inside of it? Yeah, I sure do. And the sooner the better. If he ain't the killer, why isn't he here now? You all know he's trapping. Yeah. Probably hiding out someplace. Ain't many places he could have got to. We'll find them. And when we do... <laughs> now, wait a minute. You're beginning to sound like a lynching party. Are you saying we shouldn't go after him? How can you vouch for what he might do in the future? Enoch's right. If Gideon killed like he done, then how do we know who's next? How do we know he ain't gone wild? Maybe kill him again, right now. All right. I agree we ought to go after Gideon. And I agree we ought to treat him fairly and that he'd be tried in a court of law. And if any of his rights are denied him by any one of us, then we're murderers ourselves. Is that what you want, Enoch? All right, go on home. Your women and children will be wondering. Tell them what you're doing. And meet me back here after supper, ready for the trail. that Enoch. He didn't want a trial. He wants a hanging. If he gets them all heated up again, they'll lynch Gideon when they lay eyes on him. Well, that's why I'm not going after Gideon. With them. I'm going after him alone. Take care of that boy back there. Oh, he's well took care of. No, not that way. I want him here when I get back. I have an idea he's not telling all he knows. Please, if you bring him back to hang him. I got to, little Daniel. There's no other way. I got to find your pa. But, pa, you're his friend. His very best friend. That's why I have to go after him. There's a chance that he might be hurt. Now, I'm not saying it's likely, but there is a chance. And I can't have you, pa, walking into all that hate. And for that matter, if he stays away, they'll say he's guilty no matter what. Evening, Hoss. Oh, what is it, Pa? 
That's all right, son. My back is just scratched up a bit. It's like the time the bear got his claws under me before I could get my knife into him. You remember, Hoss? You sure had a good time taking care of me, Rebecca. What happened, Giddy? Oh, Pa! If I can get some hot water, Israel, get some bear grease. Now move! It's all right, son. Who did it, Gideon? Hoss? I don't know. All I can remember was fighting with a man called Blake. I had him down, and then I let him go so I could talk to him. About that time somebody hit me from behind. Did you see anybody else? Uh, a boy. Blake's bound boy, but he's in bad shape. I, I ne never really got a good chance to look around. Are you sure the man you had the fight with was named Blake? Oh, I'm real sure. And when, as soon as I get rested up, I'm going out looking for him. I got a few questions that need some answers. Ah! You're not going to find any answers there. He's dead. They found your knife in the middle of his back. And he had a handful of your bare tooth necklace. You think I killed him, Hoss? Not if you say you didn't. But there's a lot of other folks think I did. Huh? Would you put up some grub for me? Why? What are you planning to do? I reckon I better be moving on. I can't stay here. Now sit down. Huh? We're going to take care of your back. He said after supper, didn't he? We're here, ain't we? Where's Boone? Well, he went home to get his pack like the rest of them. He'll be here directly. Every minute goes by, that black man gets further away. Well, why don't we go without him? Where are you going to look for him? There ain't a man here knows this country any better than Daniel. Gideon, too, for that matter. Now, you'll never find him without Daniel, and you know it. Now, just wait. He said he'd be here, and he will. Yeah. Uh, oh, 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 oh. He knocked us off. I saw Gideon. Quiet! Quiet! Where? Where did you see him? On the way here, I come by Boone's cabin. And there he was, going through the door. Ah! And you asked us to wait here for Boone. All right, man. What are we waiting for? <laughs> How about a little more hot stew? Oh, no, no, thanks. I'm full. I feel better. I heat better. You were saying? I was fighting with this Blake because of what he'd done to the boy. Could you have stabbed him while you were fighting? No, I'd remember that. I didn't aim to hurt him. I was just trying to defend myself. Who hit you on the head? I don't know. I was just lying there, horse with my head down, half drowned in this little stream. I reckon it was the water that brought me to. And you haven't got any idea how you got there or who whipped you? Like I said, the last thing I remember was being hit over the head. The next thing was that I was lying there in the stream. Maybe I crawled there, maybe somebody carried me, I don't know. I just don't know. Well, your knife and your necklace. I don't know about those either. It ain't too convincing a story, is it? Don't talk like that, Pa. Somebody could have found you, and taken your knife and your bare teeth. It could be, but that's awful hard to prove. Looks like I got caught between a rock and a hard place, horse. What am I gonna do? I 
And the only thing you can do, give yourself up. Then what? You'll stand trial. Where? Mm, Salem, I reckon. It's the nearest place. In Virginia? Are you forgetting the color of my skin? There's no such thing as a fair trial for a man like me in Virginia, and you know it. You might as well put the noose around my neck right now. now. Simmer down. You've got your papers from Canada. You're a free man. No one can deny your rights, black or not. Gideon, trust Daniel, as you always have, and he trusts you. It's the only way for you and little Daniel, too. <laughs> What were you saying about a fair trial, horse? I should have cut and run while I had the chance. We know Gideon's in there, Boone. Bring him out, or we'll come and fetch him. Yeah. 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 We want him now. Yeah. I was asking you a question about a fair trial. I said you'd get a fair trial, and you will. Now, you stay in here while I talk to him. Come on. Don't lie to us again, Boone. We know he's in there. I didn't say he wasn't. Well, then turn him over. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I aim to do, only not to you. I'm going to turn him over to the magistrate in Salem. No, I'm going to turn him over. Get it over, man. Now, you listen. I've heard all the threats and yelling and accusations I want to hear. Gideon's right behind that door, but if you want to get at him, you're going to have to come through me. Yeah. He's sheltering a murderer. He's only one man. That's what I thought he was. Two men. All right, what are you going to do with him? Just to satisfy you that I mean what I say, I'm going to put him under guard in the fort tonight so you all can see him. I reckon it wouldn't look right if I were to lock you up and let you keep this rifle. I don't reckon it would. Well, I'm ready to go. There's no point in your hanging around here. He's not going anywhere until tomorrow. Well, we won't be any further than the tavern, in case you change your mind. Remember that. We'll take the keys. I'll take the keys. Come on. When we get this all over with, little Daniel, we'll sure have ourselves a time laughing about the night I spent here in the smokehouse, won't we, boy? Yeah, I reckon we will, Pa, when this is all over with. Pa! Easy now, boy, easy. You get a hold of yourself. Things ain't that bad. Please, Pa, let him go. There's no man here can catch him if he's free. If I did, it'd be just the same as saying he's guilty. And I'd be just as guilty for doing it. You'll have to understand that. Guilty or innocent, Hoss, it ain't gonna make no difference in Salem, Virginia. My being there will make the difference. I won't have it any other way. Israel. You and little Dan will come with me over to Cincinnati. No. We're all going to stay there for the night. You go on, son. Go on now and get a good night's sleep. We got a long, long trip tomorrow. Come on, little Dan. You're going to have your hands full taking care of me, Hoss. You know that, don't you? In what way? In any way you want to take it. You're the one man I figured I could trust. Now you're going to sold me down the river. You're going to have a trial. 
You make me laugh, horse. They'll hang me for sure. Providing that mob over there don't change their minds and hang me first. They're not gonna hang you. Well, that's an easy thing for you to say. It ain't your neck that's waiting for the news. You make it sound like I'm taking sides against you. I'm trying to help you save your life. You give me that gun and let me out of here. I'll save my own. If you were to run for it, they'd put a price on your head and chase you down. Uh, be quiet or talk sense. I am talking sense right now. What would happen to little Dow, your son, if you were to cut and run for it? What's going to happen to him after they've hung me? That young boy, he's been lying to you, Daniel. Now, he may be, but knowing it and proving it to somebody else are two different things. You could talk to him. How? With all those people standing guard over him. Or better yet, you bring him here to me, I'll make him talk. Get in. You get some rest and let me get some. This kind of talk isn't getting us anywhere. What I've got to do is find a way to make him tell the truth. Come on, Hammond. Drink up. No, no, Mr. Cyrus wouldn't like it. Ah, this is medicine. Rum's good for you. It'll give you strength. So there won't be any doubt in your mind when you say what you have to say. for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I still don't see the need of going all the way to Salem for a trial. But we can hold one here. It ain't as if we all don't know what the verdict's going to be. Yeah. I agree with Hank. Those people down in Salem don't have any interest in us. I see no need going all the way there for them to solve our problems. What's your feeling, Vino? You all know my feelings. I aim to be fair. But Hank and Luca got a point. Except. They may have overlooked something. Those uh, Salem people, like Luke said, don't know our problems and they care less. So it's just possible if we take the black man there for a trial, a strange jury might let him loose. Now, I was planning to let you spend the night here. So she'd be satisfied that Gideon's had escape. But if I hear any more talk about you taking the law into your own hands, I will get Daniel and we'll throw the whole kit and caboodle of you right out of here. Uh, <laughs> now, do I make myself clear? You make one thing clear. You're a friend of Boone's. And you're a friend of the black man's. You can bet your Aunt Emma's great cat's foot I'm a friend of his. And the more I listen to your caterwauling, the friendlier I get. If I was in your place, Cincinnati. Well, it just so happens you are in my place, but you ain't gonna be for long. Now, if I hear much more of this. What I meant was... These men are customers of yours. I think I'd remember that. Oh, I suppose none of you are going to trade with me anymore, huh? That's just what might happen. Well, if I have to cater to a lynch mob in order to make a living, well, I am just going to retire. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, let's just back up a mic. Are you calling us a lynch mob? Have you got a better name for it? Now, don't lose your temper, Luke. Cincinnati didn't mean it that way. Well, who says I didn't? Well, there ain't a man here that thinks he ain't the whole judge and jury. You've already got a man convicted with no proof. What more proof do you want? I want a lot more. If Gideon said he didn't do it, then that blame it, he didn't do it. I don't know of a man who wouldn't lie to save his own skin. Well, it's just a possibility that somebody else might be a liar. I suppose you're referring to that boy there. 
I ain't naming names, but it's something you could all think about. We've already done our thinking. You all heard, Gideon. Saw him tonight, standing with Boone, threatening us. Why would he do that if he weren't guilty? Now, just a minute. Just a minute. Maybe you need a little threatening. Maybe you need somebody to calm you down to help you think straight. Uh, now, I said I was going to get Boone, and I'm going to do it. All right, get him. Go on. Let him hear what the boy has to say now. Now there ain't any doubt in his mind. Now he remembers seeing Gideon stab my brother. It, it was like a bad dream. I, well, I couldn't believe it myself. He, he, he must have thought I, I was unconscious after he beat on me. Or, and I remember it now. I remember it just as plain, just as plain. Take it easy, boy. We understand. Boone hears that, there'll be no way he'll be able to justify going to Salem. Well, there ain't no need for it. We got plenty of good strong ropes right here in Boonesboro. And one of them's got Gideon's name on it. I tried to hold him down, but it's that boy. That Morgan boy. Well, what's he saying now? He says that he's seen you. He's seen you backstab Blake. It ain't talking about ropes. They're talking about getting one. You stay here and keep watch. I'll see what I can do. You better hurry, Daniel. That boy, that him and Morgan, seems he's bound to get me hung. Have you been waiting long enough? I know my pa has, but it won't do no harm to take it slow and easy because we ain't gonna get a second chance. Here's the gun. You got the key? You know what you have to do. Don't worry about it. You never heard me when I'm sick. I sound like I'm dying. Israel, I'm depending on you. Now give me time to sneak around. Would you please sit down? You're making me nervous walking up and down. Well, that makes two of us. Help! Help! Please, someone help me! What in tarnation was that? It sounds like somebody's hurt. Help! Please, someone help me! Dang, if it don't sound like his real boon. You better go see. Now, you just wait right there. Try another key, sir. Key. Help! Well, how'd you get here, boy? It don't matter. You're gonna hit me, Pa. I look at it. We've got to go. Israel Boone, is that you? One thing you're overlooking. 
Emmett here says that Gideon whipped him. The thing I want to know is who whipped Gideon. You've all seen the lash marks on his back. Now, as far as any of us know, there were only two men present when all this took place. Hemet and Gideon. Now, Hemet's had his chance to speak. I say Gideon's entitled to the same, but not in a tavern. It has to be a proper court of law. Ain't nothing out there. You heard it, didn't you, Gideon? Gideon? Gideon! No. Gideon! Dad, Bernard, Gideon! You said you wasn't going any place. Daniel! Daniel! Daniel Gideon's gone. Lord, He's what? got a wife. What's that, you devil person? He couldn't have gotten out by himself. I know that, but... I... Well, I heard this noise, and it, well, it's like someone was hurt. It sounded like Israel. Israel? But I didn't say it was Israel. It just sounded like him. So I went to look, and I couldn't find nobody, and I started back. Well, and I went over and found out he was gone. The smokehouse was empty. And he told me he wasn't going no place. Dan Daniel? Evening, Pa. Evening. You did this. No, you did. You frightened them into it. The boys did what they thought was right. And if anyone is to blame here, you are. All of you. We wasted enough time. Let's get our guns. There ain't no stopping him now. If they find him... Will they hang him? That's what you want, isn't it? Well, he ought to be punished, oughtn't he? If he did anything wrong, yes, he should be punished. You agree with that, don't you? Well, I... I... After what you say did to you and to Blake, I think maybe you'd want to watch and see what happens when they catch up with him. Damn. Well, how about it? You would, wouldn't you? No, no, I don't want to see no hanging. Well, you're going to, whether you want it or not. No, you can't make me see no hanging. Beck, leave him be. He knows what he's doing. Israel, it's time for you to go back to bed. Oh, Ma. Right now. They'll be here. They'll be here soon enough. I don't understand. Well, before he gets hung, I want you to meet the man that you condemned to die. I did no such thing. Didn't you? Who do you think stirred that mob up? You didn't. I think you had a reason. Now, get out of here. Please stop. I've got to rest. We can't stop. I wouldn't want you to miss anything. Come on. I can't go any further. I've got to rest. Well, rest real fast, boy, because like I said, I wouldn't want you to miss anything. You've never seen a hanging, have you? No, I haven't. And I don't want to, either. But why not? It didn't bother you sitting there in the tavern saying when you saw Gideon doing the killing. In a way, it's your hanging. You're responsible. If it weren't for you, he wouldn't be on his way to trial. Yeah, but I don't want to see it. Well, you're going to. And I promise you, you won't forget it. It's not a pretty sight. Especially when you're responsible. No! Well, now, you can stop it, boy. You can stop it real easy just by telling the truth. 
Well, what do you mean? I, I told the truth. Are you real sure? Well, well, I didn't lie. I didn't. Come on. It's me, Hoss. Gideon, I've got to talk to you. It's too late. Go away, Daniel. I don't want to have to hurt you, but I ain't going back to hang. Gideon, last night you wanted me to bring the boy to you. And I brought him. Would you talk to him? It's too late for that, Daniel. People think I'm a murderer, so it don't make no more difference. Now listen, you stay here. Gideon is not going to miss twice. If you try to go anyway, I'll track you. I think you know that. I meant what I said, Hoss. Go back, Hoss. I meant what I said. Nobody's gonna take me in, Hoss. You know that. You gotta know that. Pa, oh, look out! Gideon, you've gotta listen. I will if you'll listen. All right. All right. All right. I'll listen. Go on and say what you got to say, but let my boy be. Him and his waiting for you right over there. Him and how many others? You think I'm a fool? You are if you don't trust me. It's still loaded. All right, Hoss. You lead the way. Let's go, boy. That's him, Pa! He's the one, Pa. He wants you dead. Easy, boy, easy. There's no need for harsh words. I just want to know why. Why me? What did I ever do to you? You killed my friend. You killed Mr. Blake, and you beat me half to death. You got a bad memory, boy, real bad. Now, I was trying to help you, and you know that. That's all I was doing. You know that's true. I saw you. I saw you with a knife. You, who? Drop your gun. Let's take him, boys. They were going to kill me. I told you it's too late, Hoss. Come on. Bring the rope. No, 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 no. See that that notch is good and strong. It ain't gonna give, not even with his weight. All right. Hang him up. At least you can do 
Please let my boy go. I don't want him to see me. Let him go. No. He will see. And he will learn not to grow up to be a heathen like his father. Helmut! This is your last chance, boy. Tell him the truth. He has told the truth. If he has, he's going to have a lot more to talk about when this is over. Isn't that right, Hematut? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, how it is when they pull that rope, I imagine you'll be real proud of yourself. You'd better be, boy, because you're going to have to live with it. That's enough. You shut your mouth. Get on with it. Swing him up. <sighs> no, don't do it. Please, don't do it. Please, get my boy out of here. Hang me if you got to hang me, but don't let him see me. No, Gideon, let him watch, too. Just like you're going to watch, isn't that right, Hemet? You're going to watch. Maybe Gideon will try to talk to you when they lift his feet off the ground. He's going to try, but he's not going to be able to. So you watch it close. You watch it close, and then you'll see how it is. And believe me, you'll never forget it all the rest of your life. Now get on with it. Spin him up. Come on, yeah, get on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. See how it is to kill a man. Anybody! You hear me? I killed him. Hey, man. Oh. <laughs> ah! oh, God. I just didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I was hurt and scared. It was Blake. It was Blake that made me beat him. He made me whip him. It was either him or me, and I just couldn't take no more. I just couldn't. Go on. And he made me beat you. And he made me beat you and beat you and until I couldn't lift my arm no more. You couldn't feel nothing anyway. So Blake let me stop. And then he grabbed the whip away from me. And he started to hit me. I don't know how many times he hit me. And I must have gone crazy from the pain. That's when I grabbed your knife. Lord have mercy. That's when you killed him? I didn't know he was dead. I didn't know. I didn't know until I rolled him over and saw where, saw where he fell. He fell right on the knife. How come? How come you didn't say? How come you blame my pa? Made it look like he did it. Because I was scared, that's why. I told you I was scared. Besides, who'd believe me? Apparently quite a few did. You'll have to stand trial, all of you know that. Unless you want to do it here. How about you, Enoch? May God forgive me. You forgive me, too. We'll start on back. We'll head on over to Salem tomorrow. Will I get a fair trial? I'll see to that. Can you be sure? Well, when Daniel says he'll see to it, he'll see to it. Ain't that right, boy? That's right, Pa. That's truly right. 